hi, it's uh, Lauren from Otter Valley with Isabel. Say hi. Hi. And Dr. Diesel. I'm Peter. And this is what's new this month at Otter Valley Railroad. So before we start with the trains, we do do some RC. So some of you have been to the shop lately, have met my brother-in-law Kyle, who's an RC fanatic. We have the Broncos, don't we, Izzy? Yes. So we have the blue, the red, and the silvers. And this has everything you need, plus the remote, and this is a crawler. So we do have a few of those. We also special order RC employees. You might have known that, Peter. Mm -hmm. But occasionally the girls will take orders. So yeah. if you are thinking looking for an RC car or a plane, let us know and we'll get it for you. Yeah. But let's get to the real yeah. business. Train, Train business. That's right. Ready? Okay, ready. Now Isabel's hiding her special train. You gonna run it? Yes. Okay. And this train features the Grand Trunk and Norfolk and Western Phase 3 RS3s of, uh, that were produced by Bowser. And we've just got them in a, a week ago. And Izzy's playing around with the neat sound effects. And I, have, I bought one of the Central Vermont units. And they are, these locomotives are just second to none. They are fantastic. And they run and they mate beautifully with the Athens Genesis GP9s and uh, the Pedo FAs. They're just really lovely diesels. Okay, I think we've got enough horn there. Yeah, or whistle, pardon me. I should know the difference. There's some great add on the on your train too, Peter. Let's talk about those. Yeah, yeah. First of all, we have two of the beautiful Rapido uh, recent releases, uh, re-releases of the uh, gondolas. And uh, I love the early ones, the Canadian Pacific and Toronto, Hamilton, and Buffalo. We also have CN and ON. Um, and uh, uh, let's see, Algoma uh, Central and Pacific Great Eastern with great big PGE letters in white. And uh, they are beautiful. You can get them individually or in a six pack. And uh, of course, the numbers are all different. And then look at those three uh, acid cars that are right there. The white, the white and uh, marine blue, marine green, I don't know what to call that. And then the black one. Uh, the first is a Pro Corps, and then there's a UTLX. And, and the last one is Group de Mexico. Oh, Here. okay, that's what that is. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Funny story, these acid cars truly reflect the backbone of industry. Without yeah. acid, yeah. you cannot break an item down impurities to make a finished product. Yeah. So, whether you're doing steel, pulp and paper right you need acid you need so acid, yeah. obviously pro car is big in canada with our canadian friends but obviously union tank car um group to mexico is very common in the southwest part of the states um beautiful cars by either in genesis peter yeah. they've got um six numbers of each available they're on our website so definitely check those out and obviously because we're canadian and we're hosers eh ah, we're we got hosers. we got our, we got our caboose or yeah. cabise on the yeah. trail so this is a pass-run uh, tangent uh, bay window steel caboose, but they just brought out Peter the beautiful re-release of the Chessy. Yeah, one. the and Chessy I love kitten the Chessy. is just fantastic. And man. I know another guy who really loves the Chessy cat. I think his name's Daytona Steve. What yeah, do you think? I, uh, some guy named Deta Daytona, Daytona Steve. Steve. He, he loves Chris, his Chessy cat. And Chris was here today, and yeah, he, he got he a bought caboose. Uh, and the uh, GP7, uh, the torpedo tube uh, Chessy GP7, yeah. Yeah, when we yeah. have those available in the other Genesis too. So yeah, if you're they're... looking for uh, some power with your cabooses, um, but I'm telling you right now, I, I, I'm not a first generation guy, and you can tell by how much the table is dominated with this 710. Yes, yes. So um, I'm going to start with a unit that's really important to me, well, and I think it's it. important to Isabel. Isabel, is your mama a nurse? Yes. And she's a very important worker during the pandemic, wasn't she? Oh, absolutely. She was considered an essential worker, wasn't she? Yes. This is an essential locomotive thanking all the essential workers. Beautiful, eh? Does mama have one of these on her layout? Yes. yes. Wow. This is by Montana Rail Link, which will soon, Peter, be a fallen flag yes. owned by BNSF. Back to BN, yeah. So we have a few of these essential worker mm -hmm. ones, both in sound and non-sound. We also have... They're monsters, aren't they? They're they're the, well, they're the SD70 Aces. Yeah. We also have the Montana Rail Link standard one. Again, yeah. 
really beautiful paint scheme, don't you yeah. think, Isabel? Now, young Peter was talking about going out, uh, having a trip he out is. to uh, He's going to go out there the, for two yeah. weeks, or a week yeah. and a half in Montana. That's fantastic. You know. um, Florida East Coast, I like the feck. Yeah, that's okay. Um, they, uh, not one of my favorites, personally, but the Vermont Railway is one of, one of my favorites. I'll tell you, I love this one. They're the only short line, Peter, I can think that constantly buys big, big power for, a, for power. a small line. Yeah. Remember when they had the SD90s? Yeah, yeah. And they don't have very heavy rail either. No. I don't know. It's amazing. But it's beautifully painted. Uh, lovely, uh, crisp, clean striping at the front. Air conditioning, of course, all the beautiful things they put in locomotives now. We also have the Norfolk and Southern, which is a 70M-2, not an Ace. Now, the front two units, they're the coolest. And we are missing the Katy, but we do have the, the, the uh, Missouri, Kansas, and Texas, the Katy as well. We have the Western Pacific. Yeah. But this really special one is the, the you, Mopac. Yeah, the Izzy, Mopac. Did Daddy, you, me... Did we go and see that unit? We did. And I remember Diesel Dr. Peter meeting us on the side of the road That's that day. That's right, yeah. You? Just to the east of Zora. The Mopac unit has been commonly spotted through southern Ontario on a lot of automotive trains yeah. from the UP connections. Yeah. And usually they've been in, in trail or lead. That day it was in a trailing yeah, position. Yeah, trailing, yeah. With an SD70 ACE, mm -hmm. ACU of yeah. CP. And That's we've had right. pictures and video on our website of that day. That was a fun day, Peter. That was a great day, and it was a beautiful day, except that the wind was cold. It was a windy day. Oh, man, that was that, cold. There, yeah. there, was, there is tons of pictures of that day, but yeah. that, that, that unit has been through all Ontario. Really cool. Um, I love the Western Pacific with the Feather River. Mm -hmm. um, um, oh, the Feather leaf. River. is. A, I have a real weak spot for that. And obviously the Katie's here. Yeah. Another one in the SD70 Ace line is we have the Grand Trunk. And that's a Broadway, and that's the CN Heritage. We also have them in the other paint schemes, Montana, UP, BNSF, um, and then some more NS Heritage. So check those out. I had that out and tested it for a customer this morning. They are nice units in NSF. He was really impressed. He bought a, a different Broadway, and he said, next month I'm coming back to get one yeah. of those. Yeah, so he was really impressed. The sound is fantastic. But the real one for the end skills, these guys this month, has been the repeat of oh, tank cars. Oh, those, the, the, yeah, those are the, uh, aren't they the GP20 tank cars? They're general purpose 20,000 gallon pro car tank yeah. cars. Predominantly built for a Union tank in the province of Alberta. Yeah, that's um, uh, Simon's favorite province. Yeah. <laughs> so what we have there is we have National uh, a North American Rail Car, Alberta. Pro car, Pro car, yeah, and then the modernized with the patch out. Okay, yeah. we had these in N scale. We had these in H O. H O was so popular, we sold through. So definitely <coughs> N scalers, check it out. And then obviously because you know we like vehicles here, we're gonna highlight a couple vehicles. So uh, new this month for Mini Metals, we got trucks. We have blue. Oh, look at that. We've got black. We've got orange. I'll hold that one. And then we got a couple cars too. <coughs> so we got the 1975 Buick Estate wagon, and we had the 55 Chevy Camo Ivory and Red. So these are new this month from Classic Metal Works, or now currently owned by Round Two. So check those out on our website. Yeah, you got the two of them. We also have some new uh, cars this month, also from Oxford Diecast. Obviously. Uh, our sports cars, our flatbed trucks. Um, no, this is not Elvis's car, mom's car. <coughs> Peter and I discussed that. <coughs> um, and then we also have some repeatable ones to talk about. I think we missed last month. The, mm -hmm. the Capris and the Impalas. Uh, Fire Chief, brown, brown Woody, Blue Woody, and then the Green. Also new vehicles from Burkina. Some new trucks from Trucks and Stuff. New buses also from um, Iconic Replicas. So I got the Greycown yeah. coach here. That's and a Hillary bus. And uh, Izzy's got the uh, military bus one. Yeah, that's neat. And then the other one that was kind of been really popular, and there I we know are. we've talked about it a few times, there we are. is we also have, now, you feel how heavy that is, Peter? That, yeah, Steve and I were discussing so that. So this is yeah. the Walters Mainline 40-foot rebuilt uh, well cars. We have them in the 40 singles. And, and we also have them in the five packs too. Yeah, 
that's yeah, cool. great to go with Athern or Rapido or, mm. our, or our friends at Aurora, their, ta their containers. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. A um, couple other things to note. Yes. We got Burkina trucks. This one is a beauty. It's made in Canada, too, which I really like. It's That's a, the Herpa one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's a huge thing, and it comes with uh, extra parts, detail parts. And uh, we mentioned the uh, uh, the Daytona here. <laughs> That's really neat. Um, let's see what else. Display case is new. This yes. one from Rapido, the 15-inch, which we have another run of the refill of the uh, Rapido mid, mid dome skylines. That's right. So check those on our website. We have those. There we are. There we have really a, nice glass case yeah. they got there, Peter. So yeah, they are. a red with a nice soft. Um, those are back available. Yeah. The mid domes are, have been really popular, oh, Peter. Oh, they're a beautiful car. Yeah, they really are. I have one, and mine is, of course, in the traditional as delivered CPR uh, maroon band. Whoops. Come back here, you. There's a slight gradient in our table. I had to put, had to shim it. <laughs> the other thing that's been really popular this month, and I do thank Rapido and the the Via Corporation for, for working with, has been the Via Book. People oh, moving yeah. people, Peter. Yeah, and this thing, if you need to hold something down, this is a great book to do it. It's beautiful amount of pictures heavy. in there. Yeah. Great assortment. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's Again, uh, we're open all through the summer, so come and see us. <coughs> um, Excuse me. We also yeah. do repair work on Saturday, so definitely give us a call beforehand. Peter or myself is here. Um, we'll definitely love to see you this summer. Um, I think next month we'll have lots of new arrivals, and then we can talk more about our new freight car we're working on. I think I'm really excited oh, for yeah, that, Peter. Um, that, that is going to be a winner. There's no question. Anybody that's doing modern is going to yeah. want to have a fleet of those. Well, and I think we can take a second. We'll talk about our cool shirts you're wearing. So uh -huh. I'm wearing a Mother's Life shirt this month. Um, I'm a Mother's Life uh, member, and I've been on the podcast a few times. So check them out. It's ran by uh, Lionel Strang, uh, Bruce Wilson, and those crew, and that's uh, the AML Nation. Yeah, uh, I've got. Yeah, I got you on the podcast too. Yeah. You like doing it, and you're wearing a Rapido shirt yeah. this month. That's right, Rapido trains and the Via Class One, Premier Class. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really nice. I like wearing this one. As a matter of fact, the first time I wore it in Stratford, I went down and saw uh, with my friends and watched 54 arrive at the station. And the, the engineers and the train crew were quite impressed. Yeah, so there we are. Uh, what else? Did, did we miss anything? Nope, just uh, nope. Okay. everybody have a good Canada Day and a good Independence Day to our uh, American friends. Um, definitely come and see us through the summer. We're open. And... Uh, Happy modeling. Yeah. Easy, do you want to say anything before you go? Bye. Bye, everybody. Happy trails, everyone.